Greetings. My name is Darren Wallman, and I'm a practicing shaman, sound therapist, and intuitive counselor. Part of my practice is teaching people how to play the didgeridoo as a joyful, empowering, healing way to combine breath therapy, meditation, and expression. I have made this series of short videos in a very specific sequence that I have found to be very effective. In this session, we will finally play the didgeridoo and we will learn the basic drone, which is the basic fundamental sound of the didgeridoo. So, we've already covered making the, the, the vibration of the lip and doing the belly breath, so we're going to put this together. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that vibration while our lips are, are, are on the, the, the didgeridoo. So, what I'm doing is I'm putting my lips in the didgeridoo and I want to make sure it's a tight seal. What I mean by a tight seal, that when I'm playing, no air is leaking out the sides, like that, that then, then I wouldn't be able to make a proper drone. So there's a lot of different um, theories and, and, and ways of how to put your, your uh, lips or mouth on the didgeridoo. Some people play on the left side, some people on the right, some people on the front. Now if you don't have a preference, I recommend playing on the front. I played on my left side for, for the first for 15 years. And I found my muscles started getting developed a little bit more so on my left, and it was it didn't feel right. I started actually having some some pain and sensation in my cheek, so I moved, switched my playing to the front, and I, I found that my playing got better, increased my um, lip strength. It took a little while to build up to change that, that transition from the side to the front, but now my, my, I, I have a, a longer duration in my playing. So some of them. Some of the reasons people will play in the side, because your lips are naturally stronger on the side as they would be in the front. You have more muscles on the side as you do trying to squeeze your, your, your lips tight in the front. So it, it's easier to make um, kind of a crisper drone in the beginning on the, off the side. But again, it's a personal preference. I have learned how to play from the front and that's what I'm kind of recommending and, and teaching today. So again, I want to put my lips inside the didgeridoo and I want to make that raspberry sound to, to get that vibration going. So I'm just going to make that sound just for a moment. And that's what it sounds like. So some of the common um, uh, difficulties people will, will start blowing and they'll blow too hard and it sounds now you have so much forceful air and the lips are, are way too tight so it doesn't take a whole bunch of air to, to get the didgeridoo going it's, it's the didgeridoo um, playing it's not uh, a forceful air instrument it's a very light blowing and again it's the flutter of the lip that creates the vibration that that the didgeridoo becomes like, like a bullhorn kind of a, um, effect. So again, the didgeridoo is, is a, a, a extension of the body. So I'm not, I'm, when I'm blowing, I'm not going real hard. So I'll demonstrate the didgeridoo again. Notice a very light blow. So some of the common um, difficulties is like I showed too hard of blowing, tight lips, or even very little blowing with too tight lips. Or too loose of lips. And all the air's gone. So if I take a deep belly breath and my lips are too loose, that's it. Notice so much air volume. So I want to take that deep belly breath, and I, I like to, to to teach people to start a little bit on the tighter side and then let the lips slowly loosen, adjusting the air pressure with the lip strength to get that drone. So I'll demonstrate. Deep belly breath. And again, it's a feel. And I like to use the phrase, you'll feel it catch where it just the vibration just ha happens to be a certain amount of airflow and, and, and lip tension and then it catches and you get that drone. So we want to practice doing that. We want to practice that with a deep breath and trying to maintain that drone sound 
for 10 seconds before you move on to the next, the next uh, lesson. So again, nice deep belly breath. Perfect. Perfect. Now, there is there is a technique called circular breathing, and we will get to that later. We'll put a lot of time and, and energy into that. But I also want to share that the first two years that I played, because I had to figure out the circular breathing on my own, I didn't have, I didn't have an instructor, I, I would just do that. I would take the deepest breath possible, and I would just get the drawer and exhale for as long as I possibly could, using all the other techniques that I'll be sharing in, in future videos. And, and that was an amazing meditation and breath therapy and focus for me. So that's all I did for two years, and it was a, a very joyful playing experience. So I just wanted to share that with you as to give you that initiative, to give you that um, incentive to, to play with this and have some fun. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful. For more videos and information, please subscribe or visit my website, Feel Better. Breathe better, sleep better, play the didgeridoo. Thank you.